country. So Tom here has a, a wart, a common or garden hand wart, and unfortunately the wart has developed a friend. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use a super cold nitrogen spray. And what liquid nitrogen does is it freezes the cells that contain the virus that causes the wart. And then when it thaws, the freeze-thaw cycle causes the cell to swell and die. Okay, it feels a little bit cold, Tom. You might feel a bit of prickling and tingling, but it shouldn't hurt too much. So I'm just going to clean it with a, just an alcohol swab. Okay, all right. Okay, and then we're going to use this spray now. Ready? Okay. You okay there, Tom? Yeah, it's fine. Okay, and then we're going to do the other one. So you see how white it goes there? That's because it's frozen. And you're going to see that white patch slowly start to fade as it thaws. Okay, like a little one on the edge here too, which I'm just going to do quickly. Okay, okay and this one too. Just leave that for a few minutes and wait for the white to fade and then we'll do it another time. How are you okay? Yeah, I'm good. Mm. Okay. We really want this to go back to being a normal flesh color before we start again and it has, so here we go. Give this one another few or another moment or so. Okay. Ready? Yep. Just let the edge of this one again. There we go. Okay, so sometimes as Tom knows, we need to do more than one treatment for very, very stubborn warts. And what Tom's going to expect in the next week or two is hopefully um, we may have a little blister appear. And that's a good sign because it means that the skin cells that contain the virus that are causing the wart are dying. Yes, yeah, so you might expect a little bit of blistering and then it should scab over and fall off. You shouldn't have a scar. And maybe a little bit of... Um, loss of the skin pigmentation so it might look a little bit pale but that's it this liquid nitrogen also works really well for skin tags um what we call senile warts or actinic uh, or um, seborrheic um, warts and actinic keratosis and that's it okay okay thank you you're welcome